So people, this mother who many of us in the digital art world have known for a long time, just put up some images together in the collection, made a slideshow, chucked a barcode on it, put it in a digital frame and included some hair in a jar that's not even his pubes, put it up for sale and just made 3.5 million US dollars this weekend. What the f And the first thing I want to say about this is, it's about f***ing time. This guy is due back pay. I'm also swearing a lot more due to this being about people. Hopefully by the end, you'll get it. Here's what happened at the auction. It went for over two days, Saturday to Sunday evening. It started with three open edition artworks, Bull Run, Into the Ether, and Infected. Each were US $969 and only available for five minutes. I was in the passenger seat of our car at the time, frantically hitting buy. This is what it looks like. It's an NFT digital art which is tokenized on the Ethereum blockchain. It also comes with this digital art framed box set, including all this and a hair sample. When the five minutes was up, that's it. No more editions of that artwork available anymore. In the end, a total of 271 for Bull Run, 271 into the Ether, and 123 for Infected were sold. Oh, and I almost forgot, simultaneously he released 100 copies of Everyday's Raw. I stupidly was trying to mash my phone button in case I got lucky on this one, which of course I didn't because they instantly sold out. And I'm talking one second. That's a total of 582,496 over half a million dollars. A successful drop in anyone's book with record breaking numbers for crypto art. But no, we're just getting started. We next have 20 more one of one original works to auction off, 10 on Saturday and 10 on Sunday, each finishing 30 minutes after each other. And check these out. The bidding starts out nicely with nine $12,000 bids and towards the end of time gets all the way up there to $75,000, mental. The same thing happened on the next auction, $77,000 and the next 55, 90,000. But it just got more intense as collectors realized the costs weren't going to go down. They, these were the cheapest you were going to pay. And let's just keep going. 105,000, 105,000, 106,000. Skip ahead, similar ranges. It starts creeping up, and this one, late capitalism, sells for the most, $160,000. For those 20 artworks, 1,896,000, almost $1.9 million. Oh, and there's one more. The complete MF collection. All the artworks combined into one looping animation sequence with a physical version too. There was a bidding war between Metacoven and Illustrator from 200,000 back and forth all the way up to 380,000 when with one second to go, Illustrator just says Fuck it. More than doubling the bid to 777,777 and wins the auction the biggest single bid in crypto art history, meaning a total of something like three something million. But because this is crypto art, this whole time people are already flipping his first day works on the secondary market and he's getting a handsome royalty. So all this takes his weekend earnings to up over $3.5 million. So you might find that mind blowing and it is. But let me tell you a bit about Beeple. He has been making digital artwork every single day for the last 13 years, posting it up and making it freely available. He offers many assets and working files for free for people to learn from. He has done numerous interviews and workshops in the 3D art community for years. Beeple has worked up a reputation and has worked with brands like Louis Vuitton, Apple and Nike, along with many top music artists. He releases Creative Commons VJ loops, and he has over 1.7 million followers on Instagram. He has put in work. So that's what I mean when I say the Beeple story is inspiring. This is not a weekend profit. This is a return on a 13 year investment. Well done Beeple, and well done crypto art.